Now, lest I forget, I want us to examine this icon here at the top, top left here. That is this pen. What is it all about? It's also a text. It's also a, an edit tool. It's a tool that you can use to edit. You can use it to edit your text or object. So you can use this pen here to write names or whatever you want to write. Just enter your text there. That is what that is meant for. And also, you can make use of this second one that is beside it to copy, which is called copy to anyway. That is, you use it to duplicate. You use it to duplicate. Like I use it to duplicate this uh, this background here now. I use it to duplicate the background here. As you can see, it, I use it to duplicate the background here. So I want it to be known to you that if you don't click on any object on the workspace or you click on the a text on the workspace that you are having here, you cannot have access to this edit tool that we are that you are looking at here. You cannot have any access to it, just like it is already now. What you are you what only what you will see is Pizzle Lab, Pizzle Lab. But moment you click on any object, it will appear. It is enabled automatically. Moment any object or any object or text is is clicked or highlighted, it will what it will be enabled automatically so once you click on it you can use it to do perform anything that you want to use it for although they are limited here but you can use it to, to carry out some operation on the on your on your on your workspace for instance for instance the other one that follows it which you have this tt tt here it means what you, it means the size the size of the of the text if you want to increase the size of the text I, i'm having here i have the size i, I chose the yeah, size 10 for my text here but here i have increased it as you can see if you bring it up you see that it have it have been increased increase the, the text size it has been increased so like you know my text size is 10 is 10 then let me take it back to where it is so if you come here again remember i told you that if you don't click on on any object or text on this workspace there's no way this can appear there's no way it can appear because once any of the object or the text is clicked on you definitely get this on your on your on the app it will be enabled so the next one is the rotation icon that we're having next to it here which is this to rotate we rotate it 360 degree and you need to rotate it if you want to rotate the background this is it this is how it works record you use this tool to rotate it accurately because it will give you the, the degrees will be shown here how you want it to, to be whether you want it 96 degree or you want it uh, on 180 or you want it on 360 depending on your choice so that is that then you come here again and the next one is relative where we have a relative uh, size that is to adjust we use it for adjusting uh, the whatever you want to adjust use it for adjusting it 
whether the object or the test. Like it is here. If I want to put it in there, I want to centralize this. You click on this. Probably is is not well aligned. Let me click on the on the text so that we can make use of it for you to understand how it works. Let me bring it up. Yeah. So I want to centralize it. I just click on this middle one. Then I want it to be in the middle. Click here. I want it to be by the right hand. You click here. If I want it to be on the top right. Click here. On the top left. Click here. In the middle. You click here. And in the that is the down left. You click here. If it's the down right, you click here. So that is how these things are being done. If you want it on the middle, you can bring it back and bring it down here or if you want it on the top middle. Anyhow you want it, but I just want to let you know that this relative size will give you accurate adjustments for your work. That is that. On that. Then the next one is the is the color, color to here. That's where you can apply your color to it. Welcome to the mount. If I want to give it a color, you can choose color you want for it. If it's black color you want, if it's blue color, you ensure that you give it accurate and appropriate, uh, appropriate color. So that is that and we have two two types here we have the gradient one also here this is the solid color solid color there's no mix it's not there's no mixture of uh, of uh, two or three colors there it's just a single color that is why it is called solid solid color a uniform color but if it is gradient that is when you can be matching two or three colors together it's called gradient color like we have here we are not having only this here only this color blue color here is match is this we are having this color in addition with another color here so once you depending on what you want your desire what you want to achieve with time i will i will show us how to make use of color in design design how to make use of color how to place two color or three or more colors together to make our to make a befitting uh, a design like you have here these are the presets uh, colors that we are having on this panel here so and you have it you have the selection here if you want only this welcome to be to be to be blue to be blue color you can select it here why others remain red and if you want blessing alone blessing and and uh, welcome to the blue color you can do it as well as you can see as it's taking change here that's it but if you want everything to be uniform color depending on your thoughts so that is that then this other one is the positioning whether you want to bring your text to the front or you want it to be behind a particular object or text this is how it is done let me bring this one here and let me bring it to the back this is a I've taken it to the back as you can see it's behind it's behind let me try and lock this remove it as you can see it is behind this ne this june is behind it that is the word this text that you are seeing is behind it as you are seeing it behind it so this is the work of of this just as we have it on the correct draw to arranging of layers depending on where you want it to be so that's that and that. 
So the next one now we will be going to is the text text that is the text panel the text panel the text panel will always be like this just like you are seeing it the text if you want to add text or quotes like we discussed about quotes the other time here but it will always be like this if no text is highlighted but moment you click on any text here you will see the options that are attached to the text here text panel here so they are always hidden too the moment you are not selecting anything you didn't select anything the moment you you select no text it will remain hidden moment is is being selected you will see them out just like you are seeing them here now let's start from styles styles is where you have the preset the 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 preset of text probably you love the way this June is now this June the one I edited, I edited here J U N E the, you, you love the way it is and you want to save it for all uh, for another project so that it will save your time you saved you from designing June like this again some other time you can easily do it this way when you come to your pan your your layer panel and you select June select G I have to join here you select June then you come to your styles and you save it save the current text as a new style when you save it you have you have you are done saving it you come here and you browse it and you come to my style and you see it here sample can you see it that is how it is and that is how it is done so when you go to like i was saying once it's been clicked like that in a nutshell once you edit a text the way you desire it to be there is a way that you can save that particular text for another time probably you want to design a flyer that is that is similar to what you have here you can easily go back to your test and to your styles rather and import it import the, the text style into your your new design the next thing is uh, then we have edit here edit if you click on edit it will take you to a place where you can where you can enter a space where you can enter your text welcome to your month of joy and all ram abundant blessings just like you are having it here this is where i entered my text and it came it appeared here like we are seeing it if i choose if i want to delete it you know, i don't want this and um, welcome to your month of joy and probably i want to i want to fix in another text i can easily delete it here or if i choose not to delete it that way i can copy it copy means duplicate i can copy it and bring it down and delete this depending on the way you want it to be so so you can copy that is duplicate instead of you entering or you said you want to you want to enter new text again so that the text the text color the text uh, font size and the text the text font will remain will remain sorry the text font the text size the text color will remain the same that is where that is why copy is very important in editing copy or duplicate 
So everything we appear the same same way, just like you're having it here. Welcome to your motor. Same thing you're having here. The same color, the same front side, the same font. But if you are to say you want to start new text, you want to enter, you want to you want to make use of a new text. It will give you different a new uh, text uh, property on its own that is different from the form previous one that you are having here so that is how it is so the next one here is this is the to front what does it mean just like i explained in the other time to, to front means you want to bring this text like it is now is behind this june I want to bring it to the front. You can click easily click here and it comes to the front. But if you want to take it to the back, you can click here and you take it to back to the back of the of the of the June text here. So I'm bringing it to the front and positioning to where it's supposed to be. Then this is our relative position. Like I explained, explained this to you the other time. Where you want your text to be, thing we can still remember. Then this is position too. I forgot. I skipped this. Sorry. Position. Position is similar to what we have on the relative relative position. The other one that I explained to you. This one is having is move pixel by pixel pixel by pixel like if i put it on one pixel now you see it will be moving gradually 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 it, it will be taking a a, a, a a pix to move a pixel to move now if i to increase it from down one to seven you see that it will move faster than that faster than that depending on where you want it to be like that and like that depending on where you want your, your text to be so it's it's and it's always it is always important you make use of this position especially when you zoom in to ensure that it is it is well aligned with what you want where you want it to be so that by the time you print out your project, it will not look look unorganized. You understand? So that is how it's supposed to be. Then the other one is uh, is the size. This is the size. You want to increase the size of your of your text, like I explained to you the other time, from where we have in the top panel here. That is it. Then this is padding. Padding that is when you want to paddle your text. This is how it works. This is how it works. I think you can see the changes now. This is how it works. Just like a line spacing. Taking it to the to the left uh, to the right rather. And taking it to the left so that is that on that just like line spacing by the time we will continue in our in our training you get to know more about this i want us to we don't want this video to be too lengthy let us move fast then this is the color like i explained there it's still the same thing that you're having here so this is texture texture is when you want to import your texture this is how it is it is done let me alight uh june once again because june is having a very big font here it's having a very big font here and it's, 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 it's big also in size so the text the texture will be able to appear clearly on this compared to the one we are having below it which is welcome to your month so let me briefly quickly go to that june june are you there all 
right. So once you are light your June, you come to your texture. I want to import picture. Import something like this. Let me import something like this. If you are okay with this that you are having here, you can just click OK as you tick it correct here, and you are seeing this here. You say Happy June. Or there's a way you can still do it that you know if you are not satisfied with this kind of design. You can still go back to your June to the text and do some adjustment on that under the texture. Now this is where we have our our ratio. If you want to maintain the ratio, you enable it. Once it's been enabled, you can decrease the you can make it like this. You can make it this way, just to your own taste, the way you want it to be. But if you disable it and scale it, it will maintain the same size. The same size, just the, just like we're having it here, and like that. The way, anywhere how you want it to be, yeah, you just make sure that what you are having is it fits your design so I cannot make use of this kind of um, of, a, of a texture for my design because of this of this picture I'm using here so that everything will blend with the picture that is why I refuse to make use of uh, of it so you can you can cancel it and like I've done, I've deleted it. I don't want it. So let's move on. To the next one, we are having opacity. Opacity. Opacity means transparent. You can transparent your whether in uh, uh, your test here. Yeah. I want this welcome to your month. This test, I want it to be. I want it to be transparent. You can reduce it. And you can increase it if you increase it definitely you it it it, it brings out the, the contrast of your of your of your text but if you decrease it 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 it, it becomes fade can you see the way it's fading now it's fading to vanish so I don't want it that way. I want the, the opacity to be 100 percent. 100 percent. If you want it, if I apply a, a shadow on it, and you want this opacity to also affect the, the shadow, you can enable it. But if you don't want it, you can disable it. So the next one is uh, is rotate. Rotate like we thought we discussed that the other time then the other one is a mask mask hmm. mask is probably you want a particular part of the of the text you don't want them to appear in a particular place as we have it on text so also we have it on uh, on our on our on our objects like images you can use your mask too to achieve a lot in your design you can use it to achieve a lot in your design so the time i will teach us how to make use of our mask tool i will teach us how to make use of our mask tool in design so the next one is font if you want to change the font welcome to your month of joy i want to change it to another font this we have three uh, three panels here 
I call it panel. We are having three rows of of fonts here. The one you used recently, the one that you downloaded by yourself, which is my font, and the one that and the other font, which is the preset, which is the which is the preset font you have that comes with that have been programmed with the pro, with the with the application before uh, okay, be, that have been programmed with the with the application. These are the free ones that came with the application. These are the ones you are having here. The font different types that you will have in here we, there are different types of font that we are having here depending on your choice you can choose any one and these are the fonts these are the ones that I downloaded by myself I will open I will make a video on how to how to get fonts how to add more fonts to your design into your to your busy lab that you can use for different design these are the recent ones that i use that is the one you use recently they will appear here like taken by virtual creative demo phones go long and so on like that those are the recent one or i'll make it the one that i used before i'll leave it like that then the other one is the text, in the style rather, the style. The style is where you have your bold. If you want your text to be bold, to be bolder than it was, than it is, you can put in it here. If you want it to be italicized, you can do it here. And if it is, you want it to be underlined, you will click on this U it will be underlined and if you want to if you feel like ah, all this that have entered and you don't like it you can cancel all the style here that is both the bold the italic utilization and the underline you can cancel them there and if it is only welcome that you want to bold that you want it you want only the the welcome text to be bold and click on it welcome to your mom welcome to your mom so and so on like that so the next one is is the curve is the curve like we have it on um, on our correct draw for as many of us that make use of correct draw if you want if you create a shape and you want to fit to parts fit to parts this is how it is done in in PC lab you see it you see it for instance for instance if it is CAC uh, if it is uh, a logo that you create and you want it you want the text around the the, the shape or the, the circle or the or, or the or the object especially uh, let's just say the object now what you will do is to make use of your of your curve you, you curve it and if you want it this way you do it uh, you will do it like that and if you want it bent 100 percent you do it that way as well but i want my text to remain the way it was before i changed it so the next one is the background color a background if you want a background for your text this is how it is done you enable it like it is now you are now giving the default color as black black color black color but transparent so if you want it this way definitely the main text color will be changed so that the contrast of the text will be what will be will, will be high if not if you leave it this way welcome the the text you are having here will not be clear enough to see or if you you can change the 
the background color like this and change it to any color that you know that will bring out your font color out that will bring out your font color white is what white match this if you make use of uh, yellow it also match it if you make use of uh, because it's red color if you make use of blue it also works for it so depending on what you want making use of the perfect color for uh, perfect color combination for your work that is how it goes if you want to increase the padding you can increase it like this that is on the left if you want to increase the right you can increase it let me bring it to this to the middle so that you will be able to see like this you can increase it if you want to increase the top padding like this increase the, the bottom padding and if it is the radio radius is to is to cuff the head end of the to cuff the end of the of your um, of the background the like the shape that you're having here you see the way I cuff it let me bring it let me show you again Let's take a look at the at the radius from 10. You see, it's cough extremely cough. So all these are things that you can make you to uh, you can work and catch form with this to to get your desire or your or your design. So also we have uh, a line that is alignment. How you want your work to be aligned you want it to be on the left if you want it to be on the left it's done if it is in the middle you can do it that way let me bring it like this so that you understand what i'm talking about if you want it on the left like this you see it if it is in the middle you can bring it like this if it is on the right you can also bring it, do it this way. We use may use of many of this, you may use of this most importantly when you are writing a letter. You can make use of this very well when you are making use of your letter. And if you want to justify, you can also do it this way. Now you have enough space. You want to justify your work you can also make use of it this way so depending on your choice so as we continue we get to know how all these things work effectively on design on your design but i don't want it justified i just want it like that so i'll take it back so the next one is our spacing if you want to space the letters the letters that is the welcome if you want to space the welcome this all this is how the, each 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 letters each letter w e l c o m e t o like that is how you make use of them is how it is you scatter them and like that and if it is the word by word it will just come like space between welcome to your month did that can you see word by word so that is that on that then the next one is the line spacing the line spacing if you want to increase your line spacing this is how it is done probably you discover that ah this uh, test they are too too close let me let me increase it let me increase the the line spacing this is how it is done and that is that the next thing is uh, 
Now I'm going to stroke. Stroke. That is why that is where I enable that is where you can enable when you enable your the stroke. Let me make use of another text here for the stroke. Let me make use of another text here for the stroke. Remember, I told you that you can copy. Let me copy out this June so that I can use it for example. Like this June now, I want to add stroke to it. Stroke means the body, the, 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 the like border. Stroke means the border or stroke means the border outline you can call it a border or outline like it is here you is enable once it's enable you see it the outline of the june here you can increase it depending on you can increase it depending on your choice and you can change the color and change the color just like we are seeing it here if it is gradient color you want to choose, you can do that as well, depending on what you want, and like that. That is for that is for stroke, and that is that. The next one is shadow. Shadow. Hmm. The next one is shadow. Shadow. If you want to enable your shadow, this is it. This is how it was before I enable the shadow. When when I enable the shadow, this is it. This is the result of it. You can change the color depending on your choice. Like I said, change the color of your own choice. Choose the color of your choice. You can increase the opacity. In decrease the opacity if you feel like that shadow is too thick you can blow it and you can you can blow it increase the blow level and decrease it depending on your choice and this is our outer glow as well you can increase it and decrease it so um, cut form with all this then this is the inner shadow if you want to enable the inner shadow click on it and you have your inner shadow you give it color it is black it is white it is red you increase the blur level blur radius you increase it and something like this just get something something creative on this so that is that on that then we have the embos that's where you can embolden your text you embolden your text like in a 3d format so you get to work on all this bevel and so on like that as you work on them you we'll, we'll get to know more about all this time as the training continues then this is your perspective if it's enable if you try to work on it this way it will not and you are trying to work on your perspective like this it may not work but once it's enabled it will immediately once it's enabled it will also be giving you it will also be changing the way the moment you are changing you are working on it it will be getting changing like all this june like this see the way my joint is now so depending on the way you want it to be that's that's the work of parts